Hawaii is not only known for its beautiful beaches and tropical weather, it also has some spectacular food featuring all sorts of cuisines. Come along as I share with you some of the best places to eat while visiting Kauai. Welcome to the Savvy Sightseer, the channel that helps you travel savvy. Let's start our little food adventure in Lahui. Lahui is where the airport is located. After your long flight, you are going to want some good food and a place that you can fully get into the Hawaiian spirit. And there is one restaurant that is sure to do this, Duke's. As soon as you walk in, you can tell this place is special. From the indoor waterfall, koi ponds, and live music that's going. This is always our first stop after getting off the plane in Kauai. Duke's is located just less than 10 minutes from the airport, so it's super convenient. And there's two parts of this restaurant. The main restaurant sits above and is called Duke's. There's also a lower portion and it's called the Barefoot Bar. We always eat in the Barefoot Bar and here's why. This view. The upper part has a view too, but the Barefoot Bar is less formal. It has a slightly different menu and is slightly cheaper than the Duke's up above. You will see people in their swimsuits who have obviously just spent the whole day on the beach. So your wrinkled, tired, airplane ridden self won't stand out a bit. You'll hear the music playing in the background. You sit at tables with grass covered umbrellas and it sits right on Na Wheelie Wheelie Bay. The whole place is such a vibe. The staff are all super friendly and the food is consistently good. To truly bring out the Aloha spirit, make sure to get the La Pina, the ultimate Hawaiian beverage served in an actual pineapple. Also, a word of warning, you will either pay to have your car valet parked or you can park for free at the Marriott. It's a short walk through the resort, which is actually a beautiful little stroll. So take the walk. Next up in Lahui is a Kauai icon. Located on the famed Kilohana Plantation is the Plantation House by Gaylords. Kilohana was an original working plantation homestead. This plantation was home to Gaylord Wilcox, who operated Grove Farm Plantation, a 23,000 acre sugar plantation. The restaurant is housed within the 16,000 square foot Tudor style mansion. My nine-year-old daughter was fascinated by this old mansion. Curious about it, while we waited for our food, we found out that this mansion was built in 1935 and still contains some of the original furniture from when Gaylord Wilcox lived in it. You will see these timeless pieces of furniture everywhere, giving it a real charm. It felt more like stepping back into a time to Hawaii's past. The restaurant has an open air style seating facing the stunning manicured property. There is also the bar portion located within the original living room of the mansion. Outside the bar area is a large deck area overlooking more of the perfectly landscaped plantation. While standing on that deck, it's hard to imagine what it must have been like to live in this mansion and to live on property so stunning. We ate in the bar area and the bartender there was amazing. They served delicious Mai Tais, sorry this picture is so bad, and good food. The best part was that this was one of the most reasonably priced meals we had while on the island. We ate at lunchtime before our flight home and it was a perfect way to end our time on the island. And make sure to get the Bananas Foster's Cheesecake if they have it. It was perfection. The next must try place in Lahui is not a restaurant, but a bakery. After having been to Hawaii many times and never getting a malasada, we finally got malasadas on our last trip to the Big Island. Now, we must always get malasadas when visiting Hawaii. That's a demand from our children. When trying to find the best place on Kauai for malasadas, I consistently came across the bakery fittingly named Kauai Bakery. The bakery is located within the Kukui Shopping Grove Center. It's tucked back a bit, and when we walked in, it was later in the morning, and it looked like they had been wiped out. But the most friendly baker asked what we wanted, and she had them fresh in the back, filled them with our preferred fillings, and off we went. There really wasn't any seating inside, so we walked back into the mall area and found an outdoor seating area, which was perfect to eat our malasadas. My son loved his guava one, and my husband and I got the lilikoi filled one, which we also loved. And my daughter was adventurous and tried the ube one. She saw that it was purple and was curious about it. The kind baker actually let her try the ube filling, which tasted similar to a vanilla custard, and she was sold. We also got a basic cinnamon and sugar one to share, and that one was my favorite. If you like elephant ears, this one tasted like an elephant ear, but probably the best elephant ear of my life. Now, my husband loved these so much that he actually wished we could have gone back another day. They also serve coffee there and they use Kauai roastery beans, which we found to be our favorite while on the island. We actually didn't get coffee here because our next stop on our little adventure that day was to try a Lahui favorite coffee shop called Sunrise Coffee. 
So next up is Sunrise Coffee, and they serve a variety of specialty coffee drinks, which is what appealed to me the most. I had the ice shortbread white mocha, and my husband got the cocoa mocha latte with the recommended coconut milk. He did not like that at all. I think it would have been way better if he just would have gotten regular milk instead, given how good mine was. So if you can, get it with milk. They are supposed to have great acai bowls too, but we didn't try that. If you're enjoying this video or finding any of it helpful, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and click the notifications. That way you can get all my savvy travel tips and make this the go-to channel for savvy travel. We stayed in Poipu, so we found quite a few locations in this area that we really enjoyed. First up is the very popular Little Fish Coffee. I came across this place multiple times when planning our trip, so we knew we had to try it. One thing I read over and over was that you must get there early, and I cannot reiterate this enough. It opens at 7.30 a.m., and if you get there at 7.30, be prepared for a long line to have already formed. That's what happened to us. We were actually there at 7.28. They are not the fastest place to get coffee and breakfast, so even if you get there at 7.30, you probably have a good 30 minute wait ahead of you like we did. They do have really good coffee, and they also use those kawaii roastery beans, which I mentioned earlier, that we loved. Don't get this confused with kawaii coffee company. They're two different ones. Um, I personally feel the kawaii roastery is superior to the famed kawaii coffee company, but that is just my opinion. We also got their acai bowls and breakfast bagels that seemed a bit more upscale because they were made with a seasoned frittata rather than just a standard scrambled egg. There is seating on the deck area or out on the lawn at the picnic tables around the chickens, but the best way to enjoy Little Fish is to take it to go and make the few minutes drive to Poipu Beach and enjoy it with this view in front of you. How often can you say you ate breakfast and drank your coffee watching sea turtles come in and out of the ocean and a monk seal lying nearby? Now located right across the street from Poipu Beach might be one of Kauai's most famous dining establishments, Puka Dog. With its location right across from Poipu Beach and its well-known status, expect long lines. Our wait was about 40 minutes. Was it worth the wait? My son sure thought it was. My daughter, who hates hot dogs, even enjoyed hers. So there must be something to this widespread love of Puka Dog. Ranked as one of the top 10 hot dogs in America by Travel and Leisure, this is no ordinary hot dog. Puka Dog serves what they called Hawaiian style hot dogs. Essentially, they're large Polish sausages that are shoved into a hole they form inside their homemade sweet Hawaiian bread roll. Then, this is where it gets good. They inject a variety of Hawaiian sauces such as mango relish, lilikoi mustard, and spicy garlic lemon secret sauce. The Lilikoi Mustard is from Auntie Lilikoi's, which is one of my favorite places to get sauces and jellies while in Kauai. They also serve fresh lemonade. You can watch them squeeze the lemons right in front of you. And you can add a shot of Lilikoi for an extra charge. Do it. It was so good. And there's no seating inside, so be ready to take it to eat on the beach or in the car like we did. A great breakfast spot that appeased both my children and us was Holo Holo Grill. This is actually located within the Waipuli Beach Resort right next to their amazing pool. It provides a very casual atmosphere. The food was very good and reasonably priced. A word of warning about the kids' meals. The pancakes are silver dollar size and you only get two. So if your kid is a big eater, you might consider getting an additional side of pancakes. My kids both ate their entire kids' meal, plus ate some of my husband's delicious French toast served with Lilikoi cream cheese and a pineapple compote and everyone felt that they had had enough to eat. I had the avocado toast on their homemade bread and it was light, fresh, and very satisfying. Now, probably my favorite restaurant in Poipu, if not all of Kauai, is Kiyoki's Paradise. This is another restaurant owned by the same owners of Dukes and Lahui that I had mentioned earlier. If there's one thing this company knows how to do, it's design restaurants with the best atmosphere. Kiyoki's is not located near the beach like every other Duke's restaurant, so they did this one up with a pond with koi fish, a lot of tropical landscaping, tiki torches, an open air concept, and live music. <laughs>
always very good here. We tend to always go on the earlier side to make sure we can get the prime rib because if you go later, it could be sold out. The drinks are fun and the dessert is famous. Don't forget to end the night with Duke's famous hula pie. It's big enough to share with the whole family. Now the best tip I can give you about this place is to make reservations a few months in advance and request a table close to the pond. These tables feel a bit more fun and private and if you're lucky, you might even get a visitor like we did. When we arrived, it was early in the evening and there was already over an hour wait. We were seated immediately and one of the best spots in the restaurant. Now, let's talk about some dessert places in Poipu. One of the more popular ones is Lappard's Ice Cream. I rarely do this, but I'm going to tell you not to go here. This place is constantly recommended and gets good reviews, but we were really disappointed. I had ordered half cookie dough and half Oreo scoop, and there was not one piece of cookie dough and only one piece of Oreo in the entire thing. So essentially, I had a scoop of vanilla and chocolate ice cream. The same sort of thing happened to all of our scoops, so it wasn't just me getting a bad scoop. After mentioning our experience to some other people I knew, they all said they had been disappointed recently too. My hope is, is that they can bring their quality back up and become that favorite Kauai ice cream shop again. A place we really loved though was Waikomo Shave Ice. This is located right by another popular dining spot, De Crack, which unfortunately we didn't get to try while there. Waikomo Shave Ice makes all of their syrups and they are natural fruit syrups made with organic cane sugar. So there's no nasty dyes here. You can get it in a standard cup or splurge and get the coconut cup with reusable straw and spoon like we did. I'm very picky about my shave ice and I really enjoyed this place. Less than 10 minutes from Poipu is the small town of Kaloa. This area is really coming to life and I feel like it's becoming the go-to dining location even more so than Poipu. Many restaurants are moving into Kaloa and one of those is the Kaloa Pizza Kitchen. This place is located in an older building, but with modern design. I loved how it felt like old Hawaii, but trendy at the same time. The pizza was big and tasty, and we got the barbecue pork pizza, and it was really good. The kids got their mac and cheese and split it, and they loved that too. They served cold beers and good cocktails, and overall, it was a really solid place to take the family. Right down the sidewalk from Kaloa Pizza Kitchen is a popular Kauai burger joint called Kinji Burger. This is their newest location. I really like this location because of all the outside dining. They also have two other locations in Lahui and Kapa'a. Their original location in Kapa'a was actually featured on di diners, drive-ins, and dives with Guy Fieri. They serve more than just burgers, including katsu, which my kids enjoyed a lot, sushi, and many other things in which they combine Japanese and Hawaiian influences to create some pretty tasty food. Their cocktails include sake, including their Mai Tai for a unique and yummy twist. Like I mentioned before, we found ourselves in Kaloa a lot this trip. Twice we came for coffee and one time for dessert. The first coffee shop we tried is called Dark Horse Coffee Roasters. This brand of coffee originates actually from San Diego, another one of our favorite places, so we had to give it a try. Housed in a unique older building, it's been revitalized to be a modern and hip feeling coffee shop. With their minimalistic menu and stark interior, the place definitely gave off more California vibes than Hawaii ones to me. The coffee was decent and the breakfast sandwich we had was good. And they also served malasadas, which were a much more dense version than we had had prior, but the kids did enjoy them. Now my daughter did get their almond coffee cake and she ate every crumb of it literally. It wasn't my favorite coffee shop that we tried, but it does make a good stop if you need a quick breakfast with some good coffee. Now the other coffee shop we went to in Kaloa was called Eden Coffee. This was a cute food truck style coffee spot. The employees here were super friendly and they had a varied menu and we enjoyed our coffee and smoothies from here. Another stop we made in Kaloa was the Kaloa Mill Ice Cream. We had seen this place packed and could smell the sweet smell of its waffle cones the night we actually ate at Kaloa Pizza right down the way. We were super full from our pizza so came back a different day and tried their ice cream. It was really good and they had quite a few flavors and to us was much better than Lappert's. This place was very welcoming, allowed us to sample any flavor we wanted, and the ice cream was, again, just really good. One of the biggest changes I have seen in Kauai is the growth in food carts. They can be found in several parts of the islands, such as Kaloa, Kapa'a, and Hanalei. Located in Kaloa are a bunch of very popular food trucks. 
We didn't get a chance to try them out, but from the lines we saw, they must be good. Moving to a different part of the island, the day we visited Waimea Canyon, we tried out a few different places on our way there and back. The first place was Kind Coffee Company, located in Kalahio, which is a little less than 20 minutes from Poipu. We drove past it at first because it's a food truck, but located inside a building. From the second I walked up, I knew I would like this place. This was one of my favorite coffee drinks I had while in Kauai. There are other shops housed within the building Kind Coffee has parked their food truck in, and an outdoor area that would make a great spot to just sit and enjoy your coffee. Another stop we made on our way back from Waimea Canyon was Kauai Island Brewing Company. They tout themselves as the world's westernmost brewery because it's located in Port Allen. This restaurant is basically across the street from all of the sailing companies such as Captain Andy's and Holo Holo Charters. We did notice that they were going to be opening another location in Koloa though. I am telling you, Koloa will be the dining mecca of Kauai before you know it. Anyway, back to Kauai Island Brewing. It was the perfect stop for the long day we had just had. They had good food, good beer, and the best cocktail I had the entire trip. It was called a dark guava sour or something like that, and it was made with honey, guava juice, lime, and the key ingredient, Kauai's own Koloa dark rum. One tip is that this place was not air conditioned, so sit outside like we did where it was just slightly cooler. This was one of my husband's favorite spots. He loved the fresh mahi-mahi tacos, in which we were told the mahi-mahi was actually just caught that morning. Now, we are headed to the other side of the island, starting in Kapa'a. In Kapa'a is a coffee place that's hard to miss due to its brightly painted exterior. It's called Javakai. This place was my favorite coffee place, and the breakfast sandwich I had is one I will dream of until I can come back and have it again. It was called the Surfer Girl. We went there last time we were in Kauai, and I remember I enjoyed their coffee, but we hadn't tried their food. That was a mistake. Their food is just as good as their coffee. The kids both got their lemon ricotta pancakes. Given our experience with the small silver dollar pancakes at Holo Holo Grill, they both wanted their own separate order. That was a big mistake. This was a huge portion, and they easily could have shared one order together. Their breakfast sandwiches are also served with a small side salad, and whatever the dressing was on the salad, it was the best. I regret not going and asking if I could buy it. Javakai has been a popular spot for years, so be prepared for a line and limited seating. We were lucky enough to snag a table outside, and one tip is to order online beforehand. You can go to the back of their building, and there you will find the other half of this location they call Kai Bar. That's where you'll pick up your food and beverages. This worked out so well for us. We ordered about 20 minutes before our arrival, went to the back, and our food and drinks were ready to go. This is the one coffee place that I would say to make an absolute priority on your trip. You have to go here. As we move east, you come to another food cart hotspot, Hanale. Located in the back of all the food carts is another famous Kauai spot, Holy Grail Donuts. These are donuts made from taro and made fresh right after you order. They have unique flavors, often with island influences. The Howley Donut was my favorite, which is saying a lot. It's covered in flaky coconut, which normally I absolutely hate. But whatever they did to this donut made the coconut the perfect complement to the rum and pineapple flavors also in the donut. They definitely lived up to the hype. Located just a short way down the street from Holy Grail Donuts is a casual and laid back restaurant, Tahiti Nui. It's been in Hanalei since 1963. We happened to come at happy hour and there was live music, discounted Mai Tais, and a view that was pretty darn amazing. The food was all good, but it really was the Hawaiian vibe that made us really enjoy our time here. A little further down the street from Tahiti Nui is the very popular shave ice place, Jojo's Shave Ice. After trying it, I know why some consider this the best shave ice on the island. My favorite shave ice out of all the islands is Ululani Shave Ice in Maui. I have never been able to find one that can beat it or even come close, but JoJo's did it. It was awesome. They make their own syrups and hopia topping. The hopia topping is a must and make sure to also add ice cream. It takes it over the top. By no means is this a comprehensive list of great places to eat in Kauai, but it definitely gives you plenty to choose from on your next trip. 
Thank you for joining me and letting me share with you some of my favorite places to dine at while in Kauai. Make sure to hit subscribe so you can see more of my videos to help inspire your next travel destination and to help you travel savvy.